So Fast and Furious is a movie about racers illegally racing at night using Japanese cars. It started off with that and then it changed to cops and robbers, drug dealers, taking down the military, taking down the cartel. For a franchise that's 16 years old, it's going very strong. And guess what? There are two more movies to come. A lot of people would say that Fast and Furious 7 would be their favorite because that's the movie that Paul Walker died while shooting it while he was on vacation. And it was very emotional. I mean, on the news, even when you watch the movie, just the way how they tie things together to get that last piece in was very heartwarming. It was very emotional. I almost cried. Rest in peace. So my favorite, and I know a lot of people are going to kick my ass for this, but my favorite Fast and Furious film would have to be the first one. The original The Fast and The Furious back in 2001. There's just something about that movie that just clicks. The others are amazing too. Awesome story, great character development, awesome fight scenes, action sequences. I guess for me is that the root, you know, where everything came from would always be the best. I mean, sorry, that's my fucking phone. If it wasn't for this one, the first one, there wouldn't be any to follow up. Any secondary, third, or up to the eight that they reach right now. There have been many directors over the years, and every time they change, they turn it up a notch. Big impact. All of the films in the series were good, except for the fact that Tokyo Drift was the third film in the series. But in reality, it's the movie between, or the movie that should have been between 6 and 7, so it to sync properly. So, other than that, it didn't really make sense, but when you put it that way, it, it, it makes more sense and you'll enjoy the movies as you watch them.